three days on the street can change your life forever. We are currently the only LGBTQ youth shelter in the state of New Mexico. What's unique about Costa Q is that there's no there's no clock above your head when you come into the program. The young person can come into care for two months or two years. Shelter is a very unique program when we created it because it's a home setting, it's not an institutional setting. We function as a home, we function almost like a large family. It could be life or death coming out here. A lot of youth have had to make the decision to leave because like they came out and instead of being encircled with love, like we all hope, they're encircled with hate and harm and really dangerous words. And for their life to continue on and be safe, they left. New Mexico is a very unique place to be queer and homeless and, and underage. The exploitation uh, of a young person on the street within 48 hours, uh, something bad's gonna happen. So you have a very small window of opportunity, right, to, to do an intervention. We're a desert, we have desert resources. We just sort of lack. It's hard enough to get youth into housing if they are cis and straight. When you need somebody to pay attention and understand that like going to the restroom can be scary, it's going to be even harder to find a housing space for you. I just think that the opportunity for queer young people to be safe, there's no safe place anywhere. It's, it's in, in the, like, like, like in the whole state, there, there's youth shelters, but those kids at youth shelters are othered or abused or bullied or misgendered. I could go on and on that like one trustworthy adult affirming a queer or trans youth could literally save a life. Every young person at shelter has six to 12 people attached to them that we create. They might come in with zero, like and I might be the only first person, but we slowly start building, 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 building their team. So if they blow out of Costa Q, want to leave Costa Q, graduate Costa Q, it follows them everywhere. I was housed, I was fed, and I was coming out and I was still like crying and having like, a, like, like trying to find words and figure out myself and my brain. And like, it was challenging. And trying to do that when you couldn't like take care of other things like sleeping and food and medical care, I just, I, it would be so hard. So many kids that come to us that are like, if I can't change who I am, I don't wanna be here anymore. Any youth that I see go from crisis to like an affirming space usually are able to make like more informed, educated decisions about their life and what they want. Everything that they had shame about, that they were embarrassed about, that they got abused about, they got bullied about, everything, we turn that around at Casa Q and we celebrate that. We flip that script and give that power back to them. And sometimes it takes them a minute to, to celebrate with us, you know, but uh, over time they really, um, get to feel whole and, and, and loved and accepted. And, um, and that's when everything else can move forward. We knock down those barriers for them. Yeah, and really just push them, push them and, um, and show them that they can become whoever they wanna become.